don't know whether to be insulted or not that they've asked me to set the tone of Baltimore in 1954. <laughs> <laughs> At a time I barely remember. But I do know that if you ask anyone in Baltimore today over 50 years old, were you a square or a drake when you were young, they will not miss a beat and give you the answer. Uh, a square was not an insult, it was pre-preppy, and a drape was more blue-collar, juvenile, delinquent. Did you have a lot of chance to talk to John about his conception of the character? Definitely, definitely, which it was funny. The, the first thing John actually said to me in regards to the character was like, get skinnier. <laughs> um, because uh, like none of, none of the drapes, you know, they were just the smoking cigarettes and drinking and all that stuff. And so creating sort of that physical character of that, that, that wafy Johnny Depp like dirty bad boy um you know he was about like really focused on getting that hair and the the attitude we're talking with the fabulous elizabeth stanley who's playing allison in cry baby so the last time elizabeth was on broadway was playing april and company a little bit different huh a little bit different yes a little faster this time around <laughs> um and also really getting to show more of what you can do i think did was that one of the attractions to the part yeah, I love how different it was. I started uh, doing the workshop of Crybaby last year while I was doing Company. and So, of course, I was comparing and contrasting them. And there are some similarities between the two characters, but it's nice that Allison, you know, it's, it's fun, it's youthful, it's dancing and singing. I get to do lots of singing and no instruments this time, so that's kind of nice, too. <laughs> good morning, good morning. I'm Mrs. Vernon Williams, president of the Baltimore Women's Club. And We're talking to Harriet Harris, who's playing Mrs. Vernon Williams in Cry Baby. So, how much fun are you having playing this character? Oh, it's it's great fun. I think to to actually get to play a society matron is a wonderful thing, and to to play somebody that has a lot to hide with a lot of optimism, social optimism, yet secret a secret life she's trying to repress. I think it's a it's a, it's fun. It's really fun. Yeah. Other than, I guess, the song, what attracted you about playing Lenore? I mean, she's, she's crazy. She had the, more than a screw loose. <laughs> she does have more than a screw loose. What attracted me about playing her? Um, you know, it is, something I can re it is something I can relate to. There are probably things in my life that I would go crazy for, you know? Actually, when I, um, when I first auditioned for the show, um, I went into the audition room, and I just needed some quick, like, you know, inspiration. I was like, what just makes me, like, my mouth water? Because that's pretty much Lenora. The crybaby makes her mouth water. And the first thing that came to my mind, have you ever had a, ma a Magnolia Bakery cupcake? Of oh, my gosh. I could eat a whole box. So I went in there, like, just how that made me feel, and that was, like, my start for how Lenora might feel about crybaby.